Hello everybody and welcome to Weird Spins. Today I'm going to share a different part of my collection than I've, uh, I don't think I've really gone through these before, but they are interesting. Uh, hip Pocket Records, uh, sometimes just called Pocket Discs, depending on who the label was. Uh, Americom made Pocket Discs and the Philco Company made Hip Pocket Records uh, in 1967. And they were a bizarre concoction that was the the concept of selling a single through a vending machine that was a four inch disc on a flexi uh, recorded at 45 rpm they had pretty decent sound quality uh, they didn't go over very well for the hip pocket records from philco a lot of the problem was that they were looking to license stuff from the major labels that was already kind of over and done with and most people had probably already bought the single so the the songs that they were producing were already about two years old at the time that they came out in the hip pocket format which made it more difficult to really find a niche audience for them before it was over with they actually uh, came up with hooks that you could suspend them from so that ladies could wear bunches of them as jewelry as earrings uh, and you know being that they were flexies they wouldn't have weighed a whole lot so that was easily viable but uh, they would have probably been easily damaged that way so it was a neat little kind of attempt at starting a fad uh, it was a novelty thing and it kind of wore off quickly but uh, the records are still out there and I have uh, a, a few of them so I figured I'd share them with uh, here we go we uh, fallen angels and here let me there you go. And uh, let's see, this is the one that I'm actually most happy with having found. Got Aretha doing respect. And unfortunately, all of these were opened by somebody who split the bottom. Very nice, calm down. Got a Bo Diddley. And uh, I just uh, saw a video from about a year or two ago by uh, Cosmic Brian, and he was talking about Keith and this very song, 98.6. So there's the hip pocket record of that. And, you know, the, the backs of them were very simple. So it's for single play phonograph only. You could play on a regular phonograph. But they also made custom phonographs that were actually built for these things. I uh, got a Tommy James, as in Tommy James and the Shondells. Uh, and lastly, Jay and the Techniques. So pretty cool little items. Uh, one second. And it's a it's a cute little thing. Again, it's a flexi, so I'm not gonna bow it because I don't too much because I don't want to put a ding in it. And there you go. Hip Pocket Records. There were a number of other artists, uh, the Shirelles, the Isley Brothers. Uh, Neil Diamond, Otis Redding, and Americom even had a deal worked out. These are probably some of the most valuable. Uh, they worked out a deal with Apple and released a number of the Beatles hit singles on uh, four inch discs for their uh, pocket disc series. So there's some really interesting stuff out there to find in these. And they're just really cute and interesting as a sort of an offbeat format thing and kind of fun to collect. So that's that's how I wound up with this little stack, is I just love anything that's weird formats and, and, and strange packaging and ideas. Uh, that's it for Weird Spins, and we'll see you again real soon.